Today we will celebrate and reflect as we bid farewell to Archbishop-designate Mitchell Rosansky, who served as the leader of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Springfield for the last six years. This past Monday morning, Archbishop Designate Mitchell Rosansky left the Diocese of Springfield to begin his new position as Archbishop of St. Louis. Diocesan employees and some city officials lined the street in front of the bishop's residence to bid their farewells and send him well wishes. Goodbye, Bishop. Thank you for everything. We're going to miss you. God bless you, sir. Archbishop Rosansky waved and promised he would be back for a visit as he was driven to the airport. Safe travel. In July, Rebecca Drake and I sat down with the Archbishop to reflect on his time as shepherd of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Springfield. As the ninth Bishop of Springfield, Archbishop Designate Rosansky has faced challenges of a school merger, clergy abuse, and a pandemic, while always seeking to lead the diocese with his motto, Serve the Lord with Gladness. In its 150-year history, the Springfield Diocese never had a bishop of Polish-American heritage until August 12, 2014, when Mitchell Thomas Rosansky, an auxiliary bishop of Baltimore, was installed the diocese's ninth bishop. He replaced Bishop Timothy McDonnell, who had announced his mandatory retirement 18 months earlier on his 75th birthday. Born in Baltimore on August 6, 1958, to parents of Polish descent, now Archbishop Rosansky attended parochial elementary schools, graduated from the Catholic University of America, and received seminary training at its theological college before being ordained a priest of the Archdiocese of Baltimore on November 24, 1984. He served 20 years as a parish priest before Pope John Paul II named him an auxiliary bishop on August 24, 2004, making him, at the time, the youngest bishop in the United States. He held that position for a decade, serving in a number of leadership roles, including that of Vicar for Hispanic Ministries. Early on as Bishop of Springfield, he had to deal with shifting demographics, aging parish buildings, and the exodus of young people from the region, issues affecting Catholics across the country. As bishop, he said he realized that the buck stops here and understood that although not everyone will agree with his decisions, it is incumbent upon the bishop to look out for the good of the entire church. <laughs> 